Hi, this is Jan with a quick demo of a new version of JJ OBJ Toolkit. Here are the release notes for the version 1.1. Those will be actually mentioned in the documentation, which you can find down below. And if you want to update, you should go to Flip Normals or Gumroad or whatever you downloaded the script, download the zip file and override your existing script in Maya folders. I will quickly demonstrate all of the functions. Maybe you are missing some, so let's jump into it. I have a scene with a character, with a body and a costume and a separate hierarchies, which are pretty complex. Let's start the script. First of all, you can see that the UI is slightly different. I removed most of the buttons and all the, the different behavior is now controlled with these radio switches and checkboxes. Let's start with an export. Usually you, you will use my, my toolkit to go back and forth between Maya and ZBrush. So let's demonstrate that workflow. With an export, you should just select either entire hierarchy like the grandparent of hierarchy or the individual geos doesn't really matter choose the batch option and click the export and it will export every single piece of geo as a separate obj file named by the geo name so you can see that we have tons tons of obj's in here named by the geos so that's one option. Second option is combined, a similar way, just to select a hierarchy, create a new folder and export that. And it will export just a single OBJ named by the first object in the hierarchy. So right now we have all the stuff combined. Depends on your preferences, how you want to bring stuff to ZBrush. You can just split it to polygroups later on. So that's two main approaches for the export. Then we have these two checkboxes in there. Uh, if I want to, I did some adjustment, I want to export this stuff again, Maya will actually ask every single time to override the OBJ. That's why I included a force override, so Maya won't ask about that at all. It will just override those files. And then we have ignore duplicate geos, which is quite a tricky thing to explain. However, let me demonstrate. You have a body in here and I can make a duplicate of the body. It can't have the same name if it's in the same hierarchy. However, if I pull it out from the hierarchy, I can rename it to body geo. So we have two geos with the same name which can confuse Maya and especially it can confuse that script because it doesn't know how to name that OBJ and you obviously don't want to override each other. So what I did by default, if you hit select entire hierarchy and uh, hit export right now, it will tell you that there are multiple geos with the same name and what the name of the geo is. And you should rename that to, to run the script again. However, sometimes you, you just kid bash stuff in Maya and send it to ZBrush, you don't care about naming or whatever, you can, you, you won't just send it as quickly as possible to Maya. That's why the ignore duplicate geos option is here. So I can select the hierarchy, tick the ignore duplicate geos and export. It will allow me to export that. Let's make a 003 folder. And once I export it, it will name the duplicate based on the hierarchy. So you can see that it's the gladiator body GRP and it corresponds with this right now. So that's how you get around duplicate geos. So let's delete that. And now it's time for imports. Let's hide these. First one is batch import, which is super simple. You just select as many OBJs as we want and import them into the scene and you can see that you, you all of them are named based on OBJ and none of the and none of the selection sets or shaders or shading groups 
etc. What what Maya always brings, none of that exists anymore because those are deleted on the import. So that's batch, super simple. Then we have combined option, which will actually do a similar thing. It will just import those OBJs. However, it will combine them together based on the first file name. So that's super simple. Then comes the funny part. We have a batch blend shape on multiple, which actually takes the folder. I can show you here. It will take the folder of OBJs and find the similar name, the similar, the same name in your hierarchy and make a blend shape. So I have tons of OBJs here. Let's choose this option and let's import all of them. And it will create a blend shape on every single geo it finds. You can see. And it creates a blend shape control which has an extra attribute to override all the values of the blend shapes. You can check out how it works. This function I use literally every day because it doesn't destroy the hierarchy when you import the new stuff. It doesn't destroy UV sets, material assignment whatsoever. Everything stays the same, just the geo is changing, like the vertex position is changing. So I'm using it all the time. Then you have a delete history option. When you turn that on, the blend shape control won't be created and those blend shapes will be just frozen. So you won't have an option to double check or just turn it on 50% or whatever. There is actually a bug in ZBrush when you import FBXs or use a transpose master in the 20, 2018. And that bug is that the ZBrush is changing the casing of the letter. So sometimes the uppercase in this case will become a lowercase or if I have like forearm with the capital A, ZBrush will make it lowercase. That's a problem. That was a problem in version one because I was looking for exactly the same name. Right now, the script is ignoring letter casing. So you can see that I changed the casing of the letters in here so it doesn't correspond with the capital L or R anymore. But you can still import them and it will work as it should. Just note that I turn on the delete history so it will just import those blend shapes and delete everything. I don't have any blend shapes applied but it applied those OBJs with the wrong letter casing. And the last feature is patch blend shape on a single mesh which was actually requested With the import single, you have to just select one geometry, find your OBJs, which in my case are facial blend shapes, and it will apply all those OBJs as targets of a one blend shape. So nothing happens in the viewport, obviously, but you can see that I have all the targets in here, all the blend shapes, and inherit the name from the file. So I can easily just dial in my FACS system blend shapes in here. That's very simple one. So that's it guys. That's the set of really simple scripts for manipulating the OBJs in Maya. I hope you like the new features. Just let me know if something is broken. Let me know if you have some other suggestions, other features to be added. If you like the script, just spread the world, share it with other modelers. And subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm posting like a quick tip videos and other stuff. And I have a few more scripts coming soon. So yeah, thank you very much and see you.